In this video, I will show you how even simple tools, when combined thoughtfully, can create professional and complex designs. Let's build a gear step by step. First, we'll start with a very basic shape, a rectangle. Make it thin and tall. Next, I want to adjust the corners. To do that, I'll apply a chamfer. This creates a slight angled edge, giving the rectangle a cleaner and more mechanical appearance. You don't need to focus too much on the size, the goal is simply to achieve a balanced look. Now, let's transform this rectangle into the teeth of a gear. To do this, go to Windows, Dockers, Transform, Select Rotate. With the object selected, set the angle of rotation to 15 degrees. Here's the key, the angle must divide evenly into 360 degrees to create a full circle. After a quick calculation, I know that 11 copies are needed. Once I click apply, you can see all 12 objects arranged perfectly in a circular pattern. These will serve as the geese teeth. You'll notice small V-shaped gaps between the teeth. To correct this, we need to add a circle. Press Ctrl plus A to select all. Press P to align all the center of the page. Now resize the circle. Now select all. Weld them together. The outline of our gear is complete, but a gear isn't finished without a central hole. Let's add another circle. Press P to align it. Select all, right-click and combine. Now, we have a functional gear shape. To make it visually appealing, now apply linear fountain fill to add depth and shading. Then, create an outline, just thick enough to add emphasis. Now I will edit the shape to look in isometric view. So, go to Object, Perspective, Add Perspective, Change the view as you want. Now we want to make it three-dimensional gear. So, go to Extrude, click the shape and drag to extrude it. Change Extrude Type. Edit the thickness. Now, I'll show you that you can change the fill color, the outline color, and even the perspective of the shape, without affecting the work we've already done, as long as we haven't used break extrude apart. All adjustments can be made directly on the shape. And there we have it, starting from a simple rectangle, we've built a fully rendered, three-dimensional gear using weld, transformations, and a few finishing touches. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future tutorials. See you in the next one.